Good morning, my friends. Happy coffee. So I'm back in the kitchen again today. <clears throat> you saw that I did a super easy peasy video on um, boxed corn muffin mix with some extra kick by putting in some uh, cream of corn with it. Super good. I'm going to have a piece for breakfast this morning. But I thought today we could make some stuffed eggs. I call them stuffed eggs. Most people call them deviled eggs. Same exact thing. Um, I make them a lot. I make them for every potluck for the family I swear that we go to. If we have a potluck at work, they always want me to make them. Um, <clears throat> my boss loves them. And so if it's his birthday or boss's day, I make them. Sometimes I get tired of making them, but they're a couple good things to them. They're easy. They're cheap to make. They're uh, inexpensive and not very many ingredients. And um, everybody loves them. So we're just going to make six today. I'm going to do it with you. It's going to be very informal. I'm not going to wear an apron or anything. We're just going to make six deviled eggs, stuffed eggs which turns into 12 because you cut them in half. So everybody makes their stuffed eggs different. And some people will say, oh, no, you don't, <clears throat> you don't do that or you don't do that. Well, everybody does it different, so this is what I do. So we're going to put six eggs into our pot. Fill the pot about halfway full with cold water. <clears throat> Go over to the stove. Put it on the stove. Turn it on high. I put a little bit of oil in my water. Just me. Don't know if that's right or wrong, but I do. Okay. So I'm gonna let those come to a boil. Um, when it starts to boil, I'm going to set the timer for seven minutes and let, let it boil rapidly for seven minutes. I turn it off, immediately take it to the sink, dump it, and crack them in the sink as I'm pouring cold water over them. If you turn your pot off and let them set, a lot of people even put them into an ice bath. The minute they're done boiling, they take them and they put them in a big old bowl of ice water and it peels off that way. I don't go that extreme, but what I do do is you cannot let them set in the water. You have to immediately take them over to the sink, dump out the hot water, turn on your cold water, start cracking them and shelling them. Okay. Cause if you don't do that, they're going to stick to the egg. The shell's going to stick to the egg and it's not going to come out nice. So I will be back in about 10 minutes after they have boiled and I have peeled them and then we will stuff them from there. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay guys, we're back and I let them boil. At a you know, you guys usually are like, why you're not, you usually don't fight this. I usually bring my little table over here and then I set the tripod on the table and then it shows right to the counter perfect but I cannot pull the table yet with my incision, so that's why we're having a little tripod technicalities here. But anyways, all right, so I let my eggs boil rapidly for seven minutes. I turned it off, brought it right over, and um, put it in the sink with cold water over them and shelled them, and the shells come right off when you do that. And I have cut them in half. Got the eggs all cut in half and put the yolks in a separate little bowl. Now I'm going to turn the tripod down. I'm not going to let it be bother. I'm not going to let it bother me that you cannot see me. <laughs> That's me. I just, I mean, I know a lot of people when they do the cooking channel, you don't see them at all, but it bothers me. I like to be able to talk with you the whole time, but until I can bring that table over with my tripod, this is what we're going to do. So, <laughs> all right, let me bring the tripod down so you can see. All right, and you know, I'm sorry for the glare, you guys, because um, this time of the morning, I've decided is why I get the glare, and I have blinds, and I have 
drapes, but I get the morning sun in the kitchen. And so if I was to film this at midnight, it'd be just fine. There ain't no glare. So anyways, all right. So we are going to just take a fork and um, chop this down really well. Now everybody's um, recipe for stuffed eggs is different. I mean, some people put jalapenos in there. Some people put bacon. Some people put onions. You know, everyone is different. There's no right or wrong. It's just what your family likes. So I've got my egg yolk all mashed up good. I'm going to take some sweet pickle relish. Some people put dill pickle relish. Some people don't put any. Some people just put the juice. I feel like a Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so, are they here or there? They are everywhere. <laughs> and so, because we're only making six stuffed eggs, we don't put a lot of anything in there. Okay, so we have our sweet pickle relish in there. Just the good old fashioned, inexpensive um, yellow mustard. Generic, I mean, if you have, so I'm gonna say that that is a teaspoon. Um, if you have the honey mustard, whatever you have is absolutely fine. And our last ingredient of the wet ingredients is going to be, we're going to start off with like a heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise because I simply would like to add more. You, once you add too much, you can't take it away. So I go slowly and add a little at a time. And it looks like we are actually going to add another tablespoon here. Another heaping spoon. I think this is probably going to be just fine. Now, stuffed eggs are one of those things that when you're at a picnic, there's not going to be salt and pepper around usually. Sometimes there is and sometimes there's not. But, you know, some people say, oh, I let you salt and pepper that to your taste. Well, when you're at a picnic or it's an hors d'oeuvre, you normally don't do that. So, I try to put a little bit of flavor in there. So, just a little bit of garlic salt. And believe me, just a little bit, you guys, because too much and it's salty and you've just ruined the whole thing. So, And then I love dill weed in mine. I, I love dill weed, period. And you know, I've made these for lots of people that would think, ew, yuck, dill weed. And you know what? They are just sucking them down just fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try a little bit. Yep, perfect. All right, that's it. That's your mixture that goes in the middle of your eggs. Now, you can take like a sandwich bag or something and pipe them in if you want to. I don't do that. It's just as easy to do it this way. So we're just gonna take about a teaspoon and put into each egg. My husband's going to come home and say, what the heck, how do we get stuffed eggs? Because <laughs> Patty's back in the kitchen, that's all. <laughs> oh my goodness. My kids love these. My mom used to make them all the time. And when my mom passed away, I remember my sister-in-law saying, oh, who's going to make mom's eggs? I'm like, well, I am, duh. <laughs> my mom would make them all the time because she knew my boys loved them. And there was nothing my mom didn't like more than to make my family happy with food for some reason. <laughs> All right. So see, we have a little bit left over right there. You can either stuff the eggs more or you can just have them as a little snack and you can just eat it or you can put it in between uh, bread and have it as a little sandwich or something. Sometimes it seems like I don't have enough um, stuffing for the middle. All right, and then I'm going to take some paprika because um, sometimes I don't do this. My daughter-in-law loves what I do. Um, and I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little paprika. That's it, my fine folks. Those are some beautiful stuffed eggs. That's all it is. That's it. And we have, they're better if they set in the refrigerator. For a couple hours but 
little thumbs up. And we have just made stuffed eggs. Okay? All right, you guys. I'm glad I'm back in the kitchen. And I'm glad that you stopped by to visit me on my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. And um, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day. All right, bye, guys.